I am too. This is the Krillcast. I'm Chris. And I'm very red. And I'm Zeo. <laughs> but you're not Colors of Gaming red. <laughs> no. Today is Throwback Thursday. And just like every week in the past three weeks, Will, what did we forget yesterday? I forgot Wildcard Wednesday. I actually remembered it, but you kept talking, so. <laughs> I feel like you say that <laughs> same thing every yeah. single week. <laughs> okay. So we're here to talk about not the Rotor Riot controller. Although it's a good subject to talk about in a different video. Mm-hmm. Probably the one yesterday. Go check out the link in the not not in the description. Just go to the episode private for this one, right? <laughs> just, just do it. Okay. You'll 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 appreciate yeah. it. All right. In fact, go to our like playlist and just go through every single video, you know, all at once. Even if you're sleeping, <laughs> just leave it on. Just, you know, yeah. give us the watch time. Just leave it on. Yeah. yeah just <laughs> just, just auto play that. It'd be all right. Put it on a playlist. Never <laughs> not. There you go. Although I will say our watch time has gone up significantly, even though our subscribe count has only gone up about 20 people. It's been pretty cool. Um, so no, we're talking about Donkey Kong Jungle Beat, which uses these guys, all right? Mm-hmm. These guys right here. Donkey Kong Congos. DK Congo. DK Congos. Bongos. <laughs> what is wrong with me? I actually happen to have multiple games, okay? I've got both the Donkey Konga and the Donkey yeah. Kong Jungle Beat games. I have Donkey Konga as well. And I it is not. surprisingly <laughs> a fun game, which is why I brought this up, okay? I mean, rhythm games have kind of gone the way of the dinosaur at this point, but we're going to talk about one of the most iconic ones because Guitar Hero is the most iconic one. But how many games do you know that have bongos in them? Probably not very many. All right, so Especially when it's three. a platformer that requires bongos. <laughs> yeah. Released on the GameCube on March 14, 2005. Mm-hmm. All right. And then it was re-released, which is so bizarre to me because not a lot of GameCube games got re-released on the Wii. Um, mm-hmm. I can think of one off the top of my head. The Metroid Prime Trilogy was re-released on the Wii and the Pikmin games were re-released on the Wii. Mm-hmm. But not a whole lot of them. So this one, for some reason was re-released on the Wii with no support for the bongos. Without the bongos. Yeah. Well, it's a prime candidate for the uh, Wii Wii Motion thing. I'll agree with that. And it was re-released on May 4th, 2009, so over four years later. It uses, the original version uses the much, I'm going to call them maligned, Donkey Konga (laughs) Kongo's accessory, Kongo's, I even said it here, Donkey Konga Bongo's accessory for a Donkey Kong platforming (laughs) game. The Congos were also, I said this multiple times, I just couldn't type that day. The bongos were also <laughs> used for Donkey Konga 1, 2, and the Japan only Donkey Konga 3. The bongos were originally planned to be used for Donkey Kong Barrel Blast, which unfortunately uses the Wiimotes only, and it would have been a much mm. better game had they used the bongos for that. Yes, I agree. But. Um, go check out the bajillions of reviewers of Donkey Kong Barrel Blast and you'll see what I'm talking about. So what I want to talk about, since I apparently could not come up with the word bongo the day I typed this and wrote Congo a bajillion times, um, I want to talk about some weird accessories over the years that have been used in gaming. Um, The bongos, I've always thought were a cool and strange accessory for gaming. But it makes sense for Donkey Kong that this would be the equivalent of a Guitar Hero accessory. Well, I mean, the Wii has a ton of yeah. accessories <laughs> yes. that were made not exactly by Nintendo, but by everybody <laughs> else. So you want a mini tennis racket? We got that. You want a fishing rod? We can do that. Uh, <laughs> the Wii was just a prime candidate for all sorts of peripherals. Mm-hmm. Agreed. Uh, the Guitar Hero guitar, obviously, the whole rock band setup. Will, do you have anything else? Oh, I love yeah, rock band. they connect. What was that? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess that counts. Yeah. Uh, I, I personally liked it. Yeah, DDR, DDR. Dance Dance yeah, Revolution. Yeah. There was I a Mario mix. A lot of DDR back in the day, so. Ooh, original NES. How about the um, Ultimate Track and Field? Mm-hmm. Or whatever that's um, called. Field, or, uh, field events? Field uh Something events. I don't know. What was that tracking circle, the ring for one of those old consoles? Oh, oh, um, gosh, was that Sega? I I think it was Sega. Sega. And and then you have the power glove, which was the power glove. Yeah, we we discussed that in uh, one of our older episodes. Mm -hmm. You have uh, the 200 
button controller for that mech game, like Iron Blood or something. I was gonna I bring remember. that up. I was gonna bring that up. Yeah, that Metal, thing, Metal Jesus did that. My gosh. Yeah, I remember this episode. That, that thing, I think last time I looked at it, it was like over three hundred bucks for that. I want to type in Gundam, but I know that's not right. No, it's not. <laughs> uh, I played a VR simulation of that long time ago. It was amazing. <laughs> I think it's they this had one. A... Is this it right here? The Weird and Awesome Controllers episode? Yeah, I believe he covers it in this one. He covers it in a couple of videos. It's Mech Assault, right? I can't remember what the game was called. Whoa, that's not it, is it? I don't that's think what I was thinking. Is it? That must be it. Yeah, anyways. It's been a long time since I've seen it, so I really don't remember. It's like a full-blown control room for, like, a but, mech suit. Is <laughs> what it yeah, is, essentially. A bunch of buttons for one game, and I think it was, like, priced at 300 or something when yep. it first came out. So, I, I don't know what it oh, looks like man, now. I but... forgot about that, the Resident Evil uh, controller. The um, chainsaw Man, controller. They should have put one of those out. I want to play with that. Should have put one of those out for Gears of War. <laughs> Yo, that would have been amazing. <laughs> Xbox, get on it. <laughs> um, this is not totally related, but one of the just, coolest Xbox controllers is the Sea of Thieves one. You know, we can port it to the Wii so we can actually do the chainsaw motion. <laughs> <laughs> Dead Rising, chop till you drop style. Mm -hmm. Um, anyways, uh, have you played that? Jed Rising Chapter Leader Drop? Uh, no. no? Okay. No. It's it's like the worst version of Dead Rising, but also like the most comical. Because you're sitting there hacking at zombies with a Wiimo like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Was it a Wii game? Yes. <laughs> wow. Oh, oh, okay. I remember that now. Never played it, but I remember it. <laughs> I've thought about picking it up so many times because it's cheap, but I don't think I would ever play it. Dead Rising on Wii, mm -hmm. a strange phenomenon. And it was really, because it was kind of an Xbox exclusive, and then, boom, now it's on the Wii. Just the fact that Dead Rising is on a Nintendo console. Of course, then again, Nintendo is... Uh, yeah, see, there it is. So he's using the... Decided he's to the expand to anyway, so... It has to be the weirdest Wii port of any game um, that I remember, because it had no business being on the Wii. Because, look, he's going back and forth. This is the Xbox version. Here's the Wii version. Look, there's, like, no zombies on the <laughs> screen. It just couldn't handle it, you know? The PS3 yeah. even struggled playing Dead Rising because it couldn't put the same number of zombies on the screen. Because it didn't... Capcom didn't understand the cell processor at the time. So, yeah. Um, that could have been a really great accessory, though, to have, like, a chainsaw or, like, a gun or something like that. Didn't they remake... Mm -hmm. Goldeneye with the PS3 and the um, move system. I did. I think so. Yeah, Goldeneye Reloaded. That's it. Oh I yeah, they have I Reloaded on the Wii. Yeah, because they had it. It was, it was the only like PlayStation Move game that I almost <laughs> bought it for. Yeah, I had like the little gun attachment. Yeah. Thing. This is actually the most um, uh, accurate motion controller was the PlayStation Move, but they also spent the most time de uh, developing it. Mm -hmm. That's why it translated so easily to the PlayStation VR. So, um, With that being said, with all this, these interesting and strange accessories, uh, I want to talk about how when they did a remake of the original Donkey Kong, uh, Donkey Kong Jungle Beat, they used the Wii motion controls in lieu of the bongos. As part of the remake like what kind of a design choice does that say you know about moving from the original accessory to use utilizing different technology to play the same game i mean it completely changes how the game is played mm -hmm. oh yeah it didn't feel nearly as as fun i understand why they did it though because everyone already had the wiimotes and you'd have to buy a special accessory for the game but i mean there's something special about you know I mean, banging on your bongos Right. When you buy the game, you obviously would get the bongos with it, but I think it's just purely they wanted to push the Wii motion control, you know. Mm -hmm. And having bongos kind of defeats the purpose of that. Yeah. Fair. I think
thought it was really strange though the number of games they took um not it wasn't a lot but the games that they did take from the gamecube and then they remade them on the wii and they implemented the wii motion controls so like for example when they read a pikmin um that game they took what, what is he comparing there okay um <laughs> I, that was another one i wonder if that was the wii version or something anyways uh so he took they took the uh pikmin games where you had like you know your standard controller from the gamecube and they implemented wii motion plus to control it it was like okay so now you gotta aim at the pikmin you want to control you go okay i'm getting all these guys and then you move them around it actually kind of works really well. And then when they took that concept and applied it to the Wii U for Pikmin 3, um, they actually used the touchscreen of the Wii U gamepad to do the same thing. So instead of using the Wii mode and pointing at your Pikmin and selecting them that way, you take your stylus and go, remove one more element of selection. So you're literally touching your characters as you grab them. So sometimes you can take a new technology, implement it to an old game, and it'll work really well. And other times you take an old te- an old game and apply a new technology to it, and it doesn't work so well. And if mm-hmm. I remember correctly, GoldenEye 007 Reloaded is one of those games where when you apply new technology to it, say motion controls, nobody wants it. I won't say nobody. A lot of people did not like this port. Because I remember going to GameStop, and they had like six of them stacked. And I said, hey, I kind of want that. And they're like, no, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, I, I heard the port wasn't very, very good either. So, but I never <laughs> got a chance to play it. <laughs> I might end up picking it up on the cheap later on. We'll see. But yeah. So, uh, aside from myself, have any of you guys played Donkey Kong Jungle Beat? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, I have not. So no, was... wait. I tested it at a GameStop once. That was it. <laughs> and you decided it wasn't for you? No, I don't think I had a Wii at the time. <laughs> oh, I had it on the GameCube. I still have it on the GameCube. That's the way I played it. Let's see. Remember CGR Undertow, which is a great channel that no longer exists, did a video on it. And I thought, wow, this is really neat. Let's see. This one? No, this is the one where he shows off the bongos. See, so he's like, he's actually gonna show you guys him playing. And the, I will say this: a lot of people have taken the bongos and used them in applications that do not make any sense. Kind of like how the guitar <laughs> guitar has been used yep. for other yeah. games. It doesn't make sense, but it's so entertaining to see somebody try and play like Zelda with the bongos or like. <laughs> oh my gosh, that would be terrible. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways um my experience with this game I, I thought actually it was pretty intuitive like originally when i started playing i was like this doesn't make any sense why would i play this game with bongos and i started playing it and i was like hmm and i tried it with a controller after that and you can play it that way mm-hmm. not nearly as intuitive as the bongos so once you start using the bongos you can tell that nintendo is going for more of a motion based gameplay just based on this game alone because tapping one way goes this way, tapping the other way goes that way, double tap is like the jump. It, it just it all makes sense. And I may have gotten that wrong, so don't correct me in the comments, please. <laughs> but that's what I remember in my head. I haven't played it in a while. But the controls are very intuitive uh, versus other motion games where I felt like the mm-hmm. controls were not very intuitive at all. <laughs> but it's Nintendo, so you know they're doing a good job. What about you, Will? What did you think of the game? Yeah, so I rented it from V-Stock. And I I basically wanted another game for, you know, to be an excuse for why I bought my bongos for Jungle. Um, Is it Jungle Bee? Is the No, No, that's the one. Conga. Conga. There you go. I don't know. I was blanking on the other one. So, you know, I I, I use it for that game. I enjoy that. So I tried playing with this, but it was just really weird. I'm not nearly coordinated enough to translate, you know, normal good gamepad controls into actually hitting the bongo so i suck at it <laughs> really bad and it, it, it was opposite of chris i don't think it was intuitive to me at, at least at all so maybe if i tried it for a while i'd get used to it but uh you know it wasn't at the time 
I just love these like anime style DK fighting <laughs> game battles. Yeah, the, the game is very interesting. I will admit, I've, I've watched and played through some of it. So, because you you get like for the Wii version, you get like um, that Donkey Kong in the bottom left goes away, but on the GameCube version, it was very important because it was very difficult to see Donkey Kong based on the graphic capabilities of the game. Unless you have the GameCube component cable, like some people mm -hmm. have. <laughs> <laughs> um, it does up their resolution to where it looks nice on an HD screen, I will say. Um, but yeah. So as far as this goes, um, do we think that accessories like the DK bongos still have a place in gaming today? Especially with the release of that fitness rpg game by nintendo yeah i mean nintendo had a whole bunch of accessories made out of cardboard that sold the really well ball. so <laughs> oh, goodness. that's right so, i think yeah nintendo can basically do what they want <laughs> yeah i mean nintendo's pretty good at doing new things that nobody else is doing sometimes mm -hmm. they're flops sometimes they're hits so i would agree with that so anything you guys want to add about uh, either DK Jungle Beat or accessories in general? I will say if you guys have never tried these games, so the Jungle Beat or Don Donkey Konga, you should definitely play it. They're, they're very entertaining. That's right. Will played it one time at my house, and then he went and bought, all, bought bongos for himself. Yes, he did. <laughs> <laughs> Try to get Claire to play with me, and it didn't work out. <laughs> what are you trying to say there, Will? Huh? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> What about you, Zio? Anything? Uh, it'd be nice to see some more rhythm games come back, though. That'd be cool. Mm -hmm. I, I have to say, I have a guilty pleasure, I guess, when it comes to playing those things for some reason. So, <laughs> I do like Guitar Hero. That's a lot of fun. Rock Band was also great, but you had to have enough people to play Rock Band. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you know, it's not as fun when you're just like doing one instrument and the band's playing kind of auto playing yeah not nearly as much fun. yeah i had a lot of fun with rock band but then i had more people to play with so <laughs> right right <laughs> anyways um as always i'm chris and i'm will and i'm zeo and we will see you on the next curlcast see ya